welcome back to my channel in today's video we have my favorite video and yours too it is my january favorite so if you'd like to see everything that i love this month please keep watching so i feel like in january i really didn't like a lot most of the things i'm going to talk to you guys about today are miscellaneous items so let's quickly get into the beauty okay first thing i want to talk about let's start with makeup <laughs> this pat mcgrath lipstick i wanted to wear it today but i'm just in like a cropped hoodie like sweats it didn't feel appropriate but this is pat mcgrath's full panic lipstick i have worn this in so many videos on my channel this month it is a hot pink like a darker like magenta but not really it's beautiful the formulation is amazing it stays on through eating and drinking and you get this really soft matte wash of color it's beautiful i love pat mcgrath lipsticks they are very pricey but to me they are so worth it and the colors are just gorgeous okay the second and the last <laughs> makeup favorite this month is my nars blush in torrid and my blush is actually broken but this is what torrid looks like it's a pretty pink with shimmer it's almost like a coral i have it on today it's just a nice flush of color it's totally just an everyday color for me i kind of go back and forth between this and angelica but right now i am loving torrid i'm on a torrid kick and i'll probably be wearing it for the next few months it is amazing that's all the makeup. Let's get into fragrance. I have one fragrance to share. You already know what it's gonna be, okay? It is none other than Layered My Sweet Dark Fantasy. I'm putting it on right now. Like, I'm just lounging in the house today, but you know, I need to smell and feel fabulous just like everybody else. You guys, this scent is everything. So you know that I've worked with Layered in probably two sponsored videos in the past. This product was sent for me to review. I'm obsessed with it, you guys. When I first got this scent, I tried it and my face lit up. And you guys know what that means. It means I'm loving the scent already. And then one of my girls told me that this was a dupe for Killian's Good Girl Gone Bad. I was hooked. Now. It does smell a lot like Killian Good Girl Gone Bad, but on me, it smells a little more fresh and like sweet than Good Girl Gone Bad, but in a good way. It's different enough yet similar that I will still love and wear this one as well as Good Girl Gone Bad, but it's nice to have a more inexpensive version of Good Girl Gone Bad because now she can wear this to the grocery store and Target and not feel like she's wasting a two or $300 bottle. So I love this so much, you guys. It is so sexy, yet just regal and sophisticated. This is like a good wedding scent. This, okay, if you're looking for Valentine's Day gifts to drop a hint for your boo, this is it, you guys. It smells so beautiful. So if you smell Killian Good Girl Gone Bad, you will love this, but it's probably like a quarter of the price. I will leave a link down below amazing definitely try it i know layered has some sample sets that you can buy to try out a couple different scents i love the brand overall not all the scents are inspired by other higher price scents but this one is and it just smells so so beautiful so that's the only fragrance that i've really been wearing this month and i'm obsessed with it now we can get into miscellaneous items i recently got a computer mouse <laughs> And I know you guys are like, girl, that is nothing new. Why are you so excited about it? I have never had a wireless mouse in my life. I haven't had a desktop computer, I don't think since I was like a child. And so it's really nice having a wireless mouse, especially for editing. I'm doing a lot of editing now. I'm making logos and graphics and having an actual mouse just makes things so much more seamless and easy to use. You don't feel like you're getting a cramp in your hands. Like I got this off Amazon. It's purple. It's perfect it works seamlessly i love it i will link this down below i'm obsessed like if you work on the computer a lot if you work from home get a wireless mouse you guys it's going to change your life like it's something so simple this was probably about six or seven dollars 
but I love it so much. So I'm definitely enjoying that. I also want to talk about my Teamy Blend 30 Day Detox. If you guys watched my most recent What I Eat in a Week video, you would know that I talked about this tea. This video is not being sponsored by them, but I just love this tea so much. In that video, I talked about how I haven't had coffee. Now it's probably been over a month, and I'm honestly surprised because I used to be a coffee drinker religiously, but now I just feel like this has such nice natural caffeine, I don't need it. So the two teas that come in the 30 day detox are this colon tea and the skinny tea. Now this I love for just de-bloating myself. It makes me feel skinny. It's not gonna make you lose any weight or anything, but you will look and feel your best. This has essentially been like my, oh, my holy grail item during the holiday season because your girl fell off a little bit and I was definitely indulging and just enjoying the company of my loved ones and I was eating all the things that are not on keto. But this kept me feeling my best and now that I'm back on keto and back in the gym, this really just keeps me on track. I drink this every morning. And then this colon tea, guys, this is a cleanse. Okay, <laughs> I drink this every other night and sometimes I don't drink it every other night now that I'm not doing the actual 30 day detox anymore, but it's definitely something that I still enjoy. It makes you go, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so this is nice just for allowing you to eliminate all the waste that you've eaten and just start over fresh the next day. That's something that I always talk about. Um, I'm not trying to aim for perfection with my weight loss and my health journey. I just want to do better than I did previously. And I have days where I screw up. I have days when I eat fast food and I eat sweets, but you know what? I get back up the next day and I get back on the wagon. So this has really been helping me, you guys. Um, it's not just because it's sponsored. I like this and I will actually purchase this with my own money okay the next two products i want to talk about are cbd hemp flower now if you guys didn't know i love cbd i will link a video down below where i have actually talked about some of my favorite cbd items i use the oil and this is the actual hemp flower this is by the brand plain jane i will link them down below I'm obsessed with the brand just because it's plain Jane. It's a cute name, great marketing, and I'm actually enjoying this CBD product. It is 100% legal. It has less than three tenths of a percent of THC in it, but CBD is great for inflammation, pain, anxiety, it helps you relax. It is just amazing. I am a firm believer in it. The two types that I tried were just the regular CBD flower and the Electra, and I'm not sure which one I like more but I will definitely continue to purchase these like I said I will link the website down below I know CBD is very controversial I'm not here to tell you to try it use it what have you I'm just saying this is my experience and I do enjoy it uh, like I said I use the oil and now I use the flower and it's great okay Another thing I've been loving this past month is my YSL Nude Wallet on a Chain. I'm not sure if this is the actual name of this bag, but I will be sure to link it down below. Uh, I started off the month on New Year's Eve using this bag, and then I've been carrying it off and on usually about every weekend. I love it. It's probably the only nude bag I own in my collection. And I actually enjoy carrying it like this. I take it to the grocery store. I am that girl that will wear sweats, workout clothes, and a designer bag. I don't know, that's just me. This bag is just really my style. I love it. It's bigger than the Chanel wallet on a chain. Uh, I'm keeping my Chanel wallet on a chain just because it does serve a purpose in my collection, but I definitely have been loving this bag. And if you are on the fence about it, I would highly suggest it. I have really been loving YSL and yeah. The next thing I wanna talk about is actually too big to bring up here, but I will insert a picture and they are my forever roses. I actually got that from my best friend for Christmas. You guys, they smell so amazing. So I've never really had forever roses. If you watched my channel years ago, I actually made my own forever roses out of artificial flowers, but these roses smell so good. When I got the package, I didn't know what it was because it was a Christmas present, but my dog Chloe was going crazy. And so I knew it had to be food or something that just smelled really good because she loves both of those things. So these flowers are so beautiful. They're purple, which is my favorite color. They smell like 
a regular roll is like times 100. I've had them for about a month now and they still smell amazing. They fill up my whole two-story great room and I love walking by them and smelling them. They're just so beautiful and I'd highly recommend them. They're by the brand Eternal Floor. So I will link that down below and if once again you're looking for a gift for someone for Valentine's Day, I'd highly recommend that. You don't have to get that huge box. I believe they have boxes in various sizes but it's definitely such a nice gift. I am not someone who's a big lover of roses and flowers just because they die and I don't really like that it makes me sad so so having a box of roses that actually lasts for at least a year is amazing and I will check back in with you guys periodically on Instagram to let you know how I've been enjoying those roses but I'm obsessed Okay, the next fashion item I've been loving are my cognac booties. Now, I believe I shared these in my winter essentials video. I've worn them a few times this month and I am obsessed, you guys. Now, the reason why I love booties so much is because I have big calves. I have large calves, but I don't have thick ankles and I'm kind of in between that my caps are still too big for most wide boots but not big enough for plus size wide boots so i'm just not wearing boots until i'm like the ultimate skinny legend so right now booties are my jam and these are by the brand coconuts by matisse i believe i will leave the link down below of something similar but i got these from nordstrom on a great deal i don't like paying more than 50 dollars for booties i just don't think it's worth it and these were like 40 percent off and they were like 48 dollars. they are perfect i love a good cognac pair of booties because they go with everything you guys know that i'm always wearing all black and these have been perfect these are definitely a favorite of mine. Okay, so I have some food items to talk about. The first is actually one of the ingredients that I've been cooking with so much since Christmas. Uh, I visited my parents over the holiday season and, or no, I think this was when they came here. And if you didn't know, I'm a quarter Japanese and so we usually have traditional Japanese meals during the holiday season and my mother picked up this Kikoman chili ponzu sauce from our Asian grocery store and it tastes so good you guys. Now it might not be the healthiest thing because I'm sure it has a lot of sodium but it tastes so good on everything. I make my green beans with it. I dip gyoza in it. I use it as a marinade mixing it with water and other ingredients to marinate chicken. I've used it on steak. I've literally put it on everything and it tastes so good. Ponzu is like a mix of soy sauce and lemon sauce so if you like those two okay jet <laughs> we'll let her pass so if you like those two ingredients try out some kikoman ponzu sauce they probably have it at your traditional grocery store in the ethnic or international aisle but i've definitely been enjoying putting that on everything and i believe in my what i ate in a week video i actually used it on my green beans and salmon or at least the green beans. I don't know, but I love that ponzu sauce. It's amazing. I also want to talk about a new wine that I've tried, and it is the Prisoner Red Wine. I actually got this off recommendation from my father. Hi, Dad, if you're watching. This is one of his favorite red wines. Now, I'm usually a Zinfandel drinker, although I really haven't been into wine a lot. I'm not sure why, but I do love a good red wine. This is a red blend, but it is the best red blend I've ever tried. It honestly tastes a lot like a Zinfandel. Now it is rather strong so if you are not a seasoned red wine drinker I would have like an ounce of it at first because it is a strong robust wine but it's amazing. I, I just love it so much so that will be definitely added to my favorite wine list and I've really been enjoying that. I don't tend to drink wine too often but we had a bottle at my house and I decided to enjoy it and it was amazing. And the last food type item I want to talk about is my air fryer. You guys, I am obsessed. I got an air fryer for Christmas. Shout out to my friend for getting me one for Christmas. And it's like the best thing. It's honestly changed my life. I'm obsessed with it. I will link the exact model I have down below. Since getting it, I have not cooked anything on the stove or in the oven. Today will be my first time actually cooking something on the stove because I'm going to brown ground beef. But besides today, for the last month, 
I have made everything in the air fryer. Now, I'm obsessed with it. The one thing that I am leery of is the fact that it cooks food so fast and so crispy in a little tiny machine. Like it can't be good for us in terms of radiation or something, but I try not to think about that. It really makes life so simple. A lot of times what I do is when I'm working at night, I pop my food in and in 30 minutes max, it's done. I don't have to do anything else. Clean up is super easy. And everything I've made in there has been amazing. I've made salmon, I've made steak, I've made shrimp green beans, chicken wings, you name it, you name it, greens, beans, potatoes, tomatoes. <laughs> you guys, I'm obsessed with it. So definitely, if you are on a health and fitness journey, please think about getting an air fryer. I don't add any type of fats and oil besides canola cooking spray, and I've only really added that to salmon, but that air fryer, you guys, is saving my life. I'm obsessed. It is called the Regent Cocktail Club. It's on the rooftop of American Cut here in Atlanta and Buckhead at the shops at Buckhead. That is my new favorite place, you guys. It's beautiful. It's really chill. It's definitely grown and sexy vibe. You don't have to deal with the riffraff. It's amazing. The drinks are amazing. We went there for New Year's Eve and we had such an amazing time. So if you are thinking about visiting Atlanta or if you live here and you're looking for a great place to just hang out, have a nice cocktail, enjoy life, definitely check out the Regent Cocktail Club. It is everything. Next, I wanna talk about this course bundle that I bought this past month. It is offered by Sabrina Peterson from the Glam University and it is the 2020 bundle. By the time this video goes out, it may be expired, but she is definitely someone who is a great resource. In this bundle, I got courses like uh, how to make motion graphics, how to make your own graphics, flyers, logos, what have you. Uh, the flip, what else did I get? I think I got real estate investment, how to make six figures in your pajamas, like such amazing courses for women or entrepreneurs or anybody who just wants to learn a new skill to kind of upgrade their business, their life, their financial situation. It's amazing. So definitely check that out. I will leave her website down below as well as her Instagram. I'm not even halfway through the courses. Like I said, there were 20 courses for $20, but I've learned such a wealth of information. I've honestly started making graphics and logos for other people. Ding, ding, ding. That's another side hustle. So it's definitely been profitable and I've got my money back already. So that's been great. Okay, now let's talk about music, TV, and all that. Okay, the first thing I wanna talk about, I don't want you guys to judge me, okay? I am not someone who is really into African-American old school sitcoms. For one, I wasn't around when a lot of them premiered and I don't know, I'm just not that into them. But I have recently become obsessed with Martin. I know, I know, I know. Oh my God, you're just not watching Martin. Yes, I got into Martin over the Christmas holiday while I was visiting my family and I'm obsessed. My mother and my brother and I think my father too, they've all loved Martin, but I just always felt like it's not funny. I probably didn't give it a chance because now I love Martin and I will stay up for hours at night watching Martin and it's just so funny. So that's definitely been something I've loved this month. Also, my newest favorite show is You on Netflix. I watched season one and season two. I was always afraid to watch it because it sounds scary, but it's such a good show. It's a great show to binge on. I think there's only 10 episodes in each season, so it's not too long, but it's like a great psychological, suspenseful thriller. I love it. I can't wait for season three. Another show I've been enjoying is 60 Days In and that is on A&E. I watch this show every season. I'm obsessed with it. I have this little weird thing about jail and prison. Not enough to make me want to do anything illegal to go, but I think it's so interesting from like a psychological standpoint. I do have degrees in psychology. So for me, jail life and the whole recidivism and how our jail system is built and policies like that, I just find that super interesting. So I enjoy watching 60 Days In and it is on right now on A&E. This season is not like any other season. They are dropping like flies. So I definitely can't wait to see what happens throughout the rest of the season, but I've really been enjoying that show. Uh, two movies that I've seen recently, Bad Boys 1 and 2. I have watched both of these movies when they came out, but that was such a long time ago and I do wanna see Bad Boys 3, the one that just came out. 
So I decided to go watch the first and the second one and I love them. They're action packed. The second one was super funny. So I definitely can't wait to see the third one. If you've seen it, let me know down below what your thoughts were. Okay, and the rest of my list is going to be music. The first person that your girl has been obsessed with is Roddy Rich. I love the song The Box. It's just perfect to ride to in the car. I love listening to it when I'm out and about at lounges and stuff. I went out quite a bit in December and a few times this past month. And every time that song comes on, it's just, it makes me so happy. So I've definitely been enjoying Roddy Rich. I also have been enjoying Mulatto. Now I know her as Miss Mulatto. I believe she was on this show called The Rap Game or something that came on a few years ago. Love her music. She's from Atlanta. It's so Atlanta. It's so Atlanta. It's very Atlanta. <laughs> um, so I've definitely been enjoying her. And the last person is Summer Walker. Her album came out a few months ago, but I'm loving it just as much as I loved it the first time. And I just wanted to mention that. So yeah, those are my favorites for January. I can't believe we are almost into February. The year is already flying by. This tends to happen as you get older. Uh, but I'm definitely excited for next month. I have so many new changes coming to my channel. And I just want to tell you guys thank you for a great start to the year. I can't wait for next month. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.